Um, this is called, uh, it's also about restaurant Spanish. And I have it in Spanish, I agree with Joanny that uh, it, Spanish is objectively better for poetry. <laughs> uh, right? but, um, but there are too many uh, poets here who write in Spanish, so I'm afraid you've noticed that the grammar. <laughs> so here is uh, the sad queen in Los Arcos Café y Cantina. The crying horns and por favor la cuenta and cuéntame reina, what can I lay at your feet? What oranges and figs? What heavy bolt of pomegranate silk? What black salt from what barren beach? What silver mortar of pink pepper crushed to release the fire and flower? Perhaps some rare spirit. Perhaps the intent of a mountain fern uncurling, of fingers opening to feel the cool gold of morning, the nape of your neck in early light. Cello or dragonfly, frankincense, saffron, or the jade teeth of a semi-precious tiger, jaws open forever to tempt his captor. Thick bound volumes with impossible locks that might spring open to exhale the salt air of a scholar's secret lust and feather beds were I to pile them one atop the other on your stoop beside the geraniums? Would it be enough to soothe the knit hitch of your brow? And if someone grazed a fingertip along that troubled lower lip, put balm to it, smoothed your shirt down across your hip bone and pulled your body close and closer across this chasm that coursing desire has worn through affection, how, I wonder, might you unfurl? The waitress with the check, in the next booth a lover's spat and dos equis in neon and you, and then just you, alone on sea of patentical. Mm -hmm. <laughs>